Hello, back. Uh, we are just going forward with the worksheet 8, uh, which is today's part of KVS Madan MCQ series unit 1. So, uh, this worksheet mainly focuses on the teaching methods and teaching instruction facilities. So, for this purpose, I am just going to cover few MCQs which are related to the paper 1 of UGC net. Paper 1. So, feel free to put any kind of comments. You can put it on the comment section. Just going for the straight forward to the questions. We have the first question like yeah so use of telecast materials facilitates what use of telecast materials facilitates what so option a we have a better concentration in learning yes option b we have to reach a large number of people option c better retention of topics taught or d all the above yes so whenever whenever it's teacher uh, focuses or whenever the teacher he or she focuses more towards the students uh, normally he or she will be using some kind of telecast materials, right? So, the purpose of using the telecast materials will be like to put a lot of concentration on the learning and to reach a large number of people in the classroom and for the better retention of topics, written thought. So, all the factors will be considered. Yes, option D is the correct answer. Going forward for the second question, which of the following is a benefit associated with the overhead projector? So, first of all, we should know what is that overhead projector. Overhead projector is like, you know, it is a, it is a kind of projector where the written particles of the trans written particles on a transparent body will be reflected on the screen whenever some part of uh, writings displayed on a transparent body automatically the light rays of the projector will help to reflect on the wall so normally so overhead projector will be like it is a relatively inexpensive yes it is an overhead transparencies can be made relatively quickly yes of course so option c we have that they offer teachers the option of writing on the transparencies during the class activity and option D we have the all the above. So all the above sections will be considered for an overhead projector. So whenever an over projector, overhead projector will be used for any kind of learning aspects, normally it is in relatively inexpensive and it is an overhead transparencies can be made relatively quickly. Yes, they have you know, uh, they can provide an offer to teachers the option of writing and the transparencies during the class activity. So all these things will be happened in the overhead projector. So the question for the third, it is like what is the most important while writing on the blackboard? So whenever whenever a teacher writes something on the blackboard, normally the things happen over here is like, uh, what is the thing is really required is for good handwriting. Until and unless a teacher has a good handwriting, so he or she cannot deliver the subject prominently, isn't it? Yes. So whenever, wherever, in order to reach the students very well or in order to reach the students, the communication effectively, the good handwriting should be possessed by the teacher. So whenever the teacher possesses a good handwriting, so only the communication will be passing freely, right? Yes. So the most important thing is the good handwriting. So if he or she should, if he or she has a good handwriting, then automatically it will be showing the clarity in writing. Yes. Yeah. Blackboard can be included in which of the group category of the teaching aids? So blackboard. So blackboard is generally used for uh, writing, isn't it? So normally. The students will be seeing this. It is a visualization in nature. So, automatically it is a visual piece. Audio aids are something. Audio aids are the something, the medium which is used for listening. Isn't it? So, visual aids are something which is used for seeing. So, automatically here, the blackboard will be used only for the seeing aspect rather than listening aspect. So, option B, it is a visual aid. Visual aids. So, normally, blackboard can be used only for the visual aids, not for audio aids. Option, uh, fifth question five, which of the following is related with the teaching skill? So, teaching skill, what are the following things are required? Blackboard writing, yes, of course, solving the questions is more important in order to retain to the topic of the student. Asking the questions, yes, asking the questions is really required. Why? Because in order to put the students in the admission mode. So, D, all the above, yes, all the things are really required as a part of the teaching skills. Sixth question. Why do teachers use the teaching aids? So normally the teachers will be using the teaching aids in order to make students understand. So within their understanding level, in order to make understand within their understanding level, normally the teachers will be using the teacher aids. So option B to teach within the understanding levels for the students. So of course it might be for the students attention to make the student attentive uh, to have a teaching fulfilled. No, normally teaching aids or the teaching techniques will be normally used in order to make understand the students with their own ability right yes seventh question 
which of the following gives more freedom to the learner to interact normally the lot of discussions happens a lot of freedom given to the student will be in the small discussions small group of discussions whenever a small group of discussions happens a lot of freedom will be flown to the students so what happens in the large group discussions generally in the large group discussions the time frequency for each student may be reduced but where in the case of small group discussions normally the time frequency will be increased so a lot of freedom will be given for the student in order to express their his or her uh, view right automatically a lot of freedom has been passed to the students only in the case of small group discussions generally yes yeah so normally which among the following gives a freedom to the learner to interact use of the film use of the film doesn't make uh, interaction more effective or the, it will not help the student the student or learner to interact it will not help to interact normally small group discussions will be using lectures by the experts what does it mean whenever experts comes into the session generally the experts will be speaking in a one way the one way learning happens but there is no scope of interaction by the learners right so lectures by the experts friendly weaving country wide classroom programs on the tv yes of course weaving country wide classroom programs on the tv of course but weaving country wide classroom programs on tv doesn't make uh, interaction so normally interaction doesn't come into the picture whenever the tv program happens generally the student will listen or visualize or see that's it he cannot interact with the person who is teaching on the tv right so the small group discussions will give uh, ultimate freedom to the learner to interact next question number 8 which of the following is more interactive and student centric it is the seminar b workshop b c lecture and d group discussion so normally more interaction in nature is happens with the discussions that is the group discussions whenever group discussions happens or arises normally the student will be getting student will be getting a, a good amount of interaction ability, uh, opportunity he, he or she can express his or her views regarding the topic of a discussion so whenever any kind of discussions happens generally normally the students will be targeted only in the group discussions so it is a student centric discussion as well as it is a more interactive nature yes ninth question we are going to the ninth question an effective teaching aid is the one which uh, is colorful and good looking is no it is not at all concerned the effective teaching doesn't uh, concern with the colorful and good looking it is, it activates all the faculties there yes, of course it is visible to the, all the students easy to prepare and the notes it activates all the faculties whenever uh, any aid any aid or any technique which activates all the faculties normally the effective teaching will be uh, considered it the uh, teaching technique will be considered as an effective one if it really activates all the faculties yes yeah tenth question we have which of the following belongs to the projected aid or projected technique it is an epidio scope blackboard drama globe so option c epidio scope why because epidoscope is a kind of projector where you know normally uh, a 3d version of a normal image or 3d version of a normal object will be displayed on the screen so that will really help uh, a student to understand or retain for a long time so generally it is considered as a projected technique or aid projected aid or projected technique epidoscope is considered as a uh, projected aid so i hope you people really understood today's session Uh, if you really like the video you just subscribe the channel and you just share and you do not just uh, forget uh, just to leave as it is you don't forget uh, you know <laughs> you don't forget to subscribe the channel and press on the bell icon for the more updates if you have any kind of doubts feel free to put on the comment section and just share it to your friends thank you thank you